Welcome to this NetBank Cup press conference. We are now previewing the fourth fixture of the weekend in the NetBank Cup uh, quarterfinal between Royal AM as well as Kaiser Chiefs, kicking off at 1800 hours, and that is at Chatsworth Stadium in KZN. Joined by the awaiting coach, uh, Coach Athazwani, representing Kaiser Chiefs, as we preview this fixture. Coach, maybe just, you know, your thoughts, opening remarks, heading into this fixture, you know, the importance of it, uh, your thoughts on the opposition, and uh, an opportunity, of course, to progress to, to the next stage of the tournament. Uh, um, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thanks for the opportunity, my leader. Um, Look, we all know that uh, we playing against a team that has been very, very difficult, more especially for us, uh, the past two seasons, so uh, it's not going to be an easy one. Uh, moreover, we're playing away, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, we, they, they also won their last game <coughs> uh, through one, and that alone tells you uh, the depth that they have in their squad after losing to Marumo Kaland. So, uh, I don't want to proceed to the, to the next round uh, of the competition. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And having said that, yeah, it's going to be a difficult one. Thank you, coach. Let's take questions from the floor just by a show of hands. I'll take the first one. If there are any questions. Okay, let's start with. Benji here, Benjamin Nyerenda. Can you just pass the microphone? Uh, Coach, as, as much as you, you acknowledge that it's going to be a tough game, but this is the only chance of a win, winning a trophy this season for you. Don't you think this is a game that you can go all out and grind the results no matter what? Thank you so much for the question. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we are planning to, to go all out, uh, we're not going to hold back uh, because uh, this is a perfect opportunity for us to, to go to, to, to the next round of this competition. Next question, Kamal. Coach, Kamal uh, Khalif, our film sports coach, once again the big three they've avoided each other going into the quarterfinals. Um, uh, but, but you rightfully said it's quite tricky uh, playing Royal AM. Um, immense pressure going into this uh, encounter to deliver, Coach? Yeah, thanks for the question, sir. Yeah, uh, there are no easy games. Uh, whether you're playing against uh, one of the you know, big teams in the country or you're playing against so-called you know, small teams, and in actual fact, there are, no, there are no longer small teams in the PSR. Uh, all the games are difficult. Uh, what is very, very key is to, is to plan accordingly and make sure you also profile the oppositions properly. All right, let's move on to Tsepo. On my left hand side, Tsepo Tovani. Thanks, Coach Tsepo from BNCA. Looking at the, the previous match, uh, Marumo Kalans, uh, same old score, creating chances. Um, scoring one and making mistake. How was training this week? Uh, I'm asking this because um, yeah, I'm sure it must have been frustrating for you. Game number 25, the same mistakes. But this week, um, how, what did you tell your players ahead of uh, the weekend? Thanks. Thanks, Pratsepo. Look, we we don't stop working hard. You know, there's a lot of positives, like I've always been saying. Um, uh, it's better to create chances uh, rather than you don't create them at all. So at least it gives us, you know, it gives us one task to focus on in terms of, you know, being clinical in front of goals, and uh, we'll keep on improving that aspect, you know, in our game and make sure that uh, we take our chances, you know, uh, in all the remaining games. Okay, dummy. Coach Mangete, Romania from Sakura Duma. Coach, midway through the season, you said that if we look at Chiefs, you have done away with helicopter football. 
Um, you play an entertaining brand of football, and often when you start matches, you start it really brightly. We see the Chiefs, and even when you're in the league, we see that the players express themselves as play. However, we have seen that when Chiefs concede, you guys almost lose that confidence that you have, and now your entire game plan goes out of the window. My question to you is, will we get to a point where we see Chiefs who maintain that structure that we leave, even when the chips are down? Thanks for the question, big man. Um, uh, you, you are quiet, you know, uh, spot on when you said the way we started. We started very brightly. And obviously when you start conceding goals that you shouldn't, you know, uh, be conceding. And uh, you, you, you panic a little bit, more especially if that becomes a habit. You know, it's normal. Uh, any, any other human being when he's... Uh, in a situation that is trying to avoid and, and it happens again, it, 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 it comes back into, you know, into play, you know, in his mind as well, he's thinking, what if, what if, because we've been working on those uh, things to, to try and avoid, it, you know, that at, at all cost, and uh, they, they keep haunting us, they keep uh, happening, uh, but, you know, they're part of the game. Uh, mistakes are part of the game and you'll always you know find yourself in that situation when you try to do something right when you try to do something that you think can help the team you know uh, it's when you're in a, like a rebuilding phase you try to fix this and then the other thing you know resurfaces again then you have to go back and fix it and yeah uh, it will take some time uh, until you know the players you know start enjoying even more because we don't want them to panic even when we concede because football is a game of mistakes though we try to minimize our mistakes uh, we still want to keep the same character uh, uh, when we attack uh, we still want to keep the same shape same discipline you know uh, and as you said uh, we can only improve that at least it's give us, it gives us you know a task to work on uh, to focus on ourselves at the same time to say, okay, this is what we've been doing, uh, this is what we got right, this is what we can improve on, and what else that is lacking that we need to make sure that uh, we get it right because uh, uh, at this level, you know, you can't continuously, you know, making uh, costly mistakes time and again. So we're working on it, and uh, I have no doubt we'll get it right. Okay, let's get the mic to Karabu here. Uh, thank you, thank you, Pastor. Good afternoon, Coach Carol from Supersport. Uh, Coach, I, I think you know much better than I do in regards to, you know, the club hasn't won anything in a very long time. Uh, and you're going into a quarter final that I think is very important in regards to the club winning something. Uh, some players might have nerves, anxious as well, because they want to do good and win, you know, a trophy for this club. How do you manage those expectations from the players? Do you sit them, you know, in a room and tell them, calm down, play a normal game? How do you manage the expectations of them wanting to win something so, so badly? Uh, thanks, Prakabza, for the question. Look, uh, we try our level best to make sure that we, we calm, you know, the nerves of the players time and again. Uh, uh, we can only control the space you know that you are in unfortunately uh players are human beings you know they also after training go home uh, they meet people who are talking about football and people who are very very you know um, supportive to them and also expect them to perform at their utmost best in each and every game that uh, they take part in so uh, that alone brings that little bit of pressure you know, to players because uh, they hear what people are saying and unfortunately that's the space we cannot control. And I understand at the same time that we're dealing with players that are coming from different uh, environments, you know, different backgrounds and uh, they've been coached differently as well and the demands are not the same, you know, so they still adjusting some of them uh, and they've also shown a lot of positive, you know, uh, signs in uh, in improving on that. But uh, uh, sometimes that lapse of concentration in the game 
uh, because of being a Kaiser Chiefs player, you know what is expected from you. So uh, as time goes on, I think everyone will settle in and uh, you'll, you'll see the true colours of these players and because most of them are the quality players. Okay, Lorenz and then Temba. Coach, um, Ashley is at a head now with five, five goals, all five goals in the last three games, whether it's scoring or assisting. So obviously he's one of the players that you mentioned, he's a confidence player. Um, what have you done with him on the training ground or outside of training to just inspire that little bit of confidence and is he, uh, you know, does he have a different demeanor now where he's obviously feeling like he can contribute to the goals this season? Yeah, thanks for the question, Pigman. Look, uh, I think I've, uh, I've already alluded to to that of I've already answered. You know, in last week, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you know, Ash as an individual, he comes from a team that was playing mostly in uh, transition, and uh, with us, obviously. Uh, it's not only transition, we want to build up from the back, we want to have combinations, you know, in the middle of the park. Uh, we want to unlock the oppositions uh, when they form a deep block. And uh, uh, we're trying to help him, you know, to, to be able to deal with, to, to be able to deal with different uh, uh, situations, you know. Uh, and you, you must have seen him now. Uh, actually, from the beginning of the season, if you can look at Ash, she has contributed to a lot of goals that we have scored. He's also, you know, scored, you know, and he's also been uh, a difficult player to deal with whenever he's available and fit. And unfortunately, uh, injuries, you know, did not, did not help him and the club as well. Uh, we've lost him when we needed him most uh, in some of the games that were very, very important for us to have him on the field. And that also destabilized the team a little bit because now we have to change, you know, the, the dimension, uh, uh, you know, in our attacking that. So uh, I think he has played a very, very huge role and he has improved, according to me. And he's a different player compared to when he was playing for, for, for Stellenbosch. Why I'm saying that uh, this season, uh, he, whenever he was available, uh, he played nearly all the games, you know, 90 minutes. And that uh, Stellenbosch, uh, he played uh, 27 games uh, plus, and uh, he was uh, substituted in nearly 95% of the games that he played for them and obviously they were managing him and we also have a, we have our own way of managing him because we know how important uh, it is to have him on the field and more especially with uh, getting the combination r combinations right uh, with uh, Caleb, Kigen, um, Duduzi, uh, uh, Saili and, and many other players you know uh, that have played their their part this season. So uh, we're trying by all means to help not only Ash but everyone, you know, to settle in and understand. Because remember, he was playing, and whenever he scored a goal, maybe not too many people uh, were making noise about him scoring a goal. But yet, Kays achieves whenever he scores a goal, and then people will give him a praise, and he's expected to score more goals. And that obviously goes to his head, not in a, in a negative way, but as a form of pressure that he, and now I need to make sure that I score again. And that alone he needs now us, you know, to, to help him when it comes to that. And his teammates as well, they have to play a huge role in making sure because they are the ones who are on the field all the time. We can only give instructions and prepare the team, but they are the ones that are, that use their own discre uh, discretions on the field. So, I think he's done well so far, and uh, he'll, keep, he'll keep on doing well because he's a level-headed uh, boy. Uh, his focus, his discipline, and uh, I see him, you know, um, uh, prospering and 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 becoming one of the best players, you know, in the team and, and for the country in future. Okay, good one, If you had to ask for your friend. Um, coach, I, I just need to find out something from you. But one thing that you've mastered as Kaiser Chiefs, which is what you're working on right now, is speed going forward. 
Um, some, most of the teams cannot cope with the speed when you're in attack. But on the defensive midfield, there's a young Samuel Ozoani there. Um, you took a risk and you played that young man there. And so far, he's been on point. What do you think makes Sam Gelo, um to, to be where he is now? And how far is he from being, say, a Nengo Masha, a Yeye of the past, uh, even a Katsande, without kicking anyone, but just being a Katsande of the midfield of Kaido uh, Thanks for the question, Prachi. Uh, I think uh, uh, when I look at Sam Gelo, Sam Gelo is, 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 is something else. For me, uh, not because of uh, we have uh, developed him, you know, as a club, uh, but uh, he's got uh, you know a rare quality in him. You know, his uh, technical ability, ability and, and execution is second to none, and that uh, will always make him a special player because we are lacking such players in in, in South Africa that can be able to pinpoint and. You know, uh, 50. I mean, 40. You know, uh, meter pass, and also be still creative and be able to take you know risk at the back to to unlock the oppositions. Uh, most of the defensive middle fielders they keep it simple. Uh, obviously, they don't want to lose the ball in critical areas of the field where they, we can end up being punished. And you recall we we ended up by deploying. A, a, uh, one of our former players in Jabulo Blom, who gave us stability and, and fighting in the middle just to protect the back four or the central area, you know, uh, on the field just to make life difficult for the oppositions not to penetrate us through the middle. And uh, he did very well in Jabulo, unfortunately. Uh, in Jabulo, had to go for, you know, greener pastures and uh, we had to look at uh, a, a model, you know, uh, soccer player that, that can make us tick, you know, that can also help the defence and, and when it comes to that he's, he's still lacking in that, in that aspect because uh, that's not him. But whenever he has the ball, you know, the more we're on the ball that means we'll defend less. You know, he use the ball very, very wisely. He knows when to pass the ball, in which areas to pass the ball, in order for us to hit the oppositions. And you also have someone like Cole. Unfortunately, Cole has been injured. You know, now it's only now that this uh, started training. Uh, we had Nange as well, who's been, uh, you know, injured prone and uh, also having challenges uh, with his own personal life uh, in terms of, uh, you know, losing a close a family member. So all those things, those are key players. I'm talking about senior players that we needed them. Uh, unfortunately, they were not available because of unforeseen, you know, uh, circumstances. And when I said this has been our, uh, the most difficult season, our, uh, that's what I meant. That uh, we couldn't keep the, st uh, the consistent starting lineup because of that. You know, mostly our senior players were not available because of injuries. And whenever you thought they were ready, you know, to come in and add value, and then one or two, you know, will be out uh, for another two or three months and from maybe practice matches. And we couldn't control that, unfortunately. And that was the unfortunate part. And then it gave, uh, it gave uh, some of the opportunity to shine. And we are grooming him, we are helping him to, to settle in. And because earlier on, we didn't want to put him under pressure. And unfortunately, he's in the thick of things right now. And he has to lead. And uh, with the support of uh, other senior uh, players on the field, uh, and even those who are not playing, they, they give him the support that he needs. And that's, that's the plus that we have in this squad. Okay, Mr. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Velida and then Mr. Sfiso Ramana. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Coach, I just want to talk um, about your, your goalkeeping department. Um, I, was, I was listening recently to a commentator who was uh, talking about how uh, Chiefs is, has faced fewer um, number of attacks. Um, but from that result, the number of attacks, the goals, the ratio of the goals that have been scored uh, are too much. Um, and, and, and Chiefs is a a, a team in the past that has had a very strong goalkeeping department, uh, especially the goalkeeping coaching. And I look at some of the mistakes 
that have been made by the goalkeepers, uh, all the goalkeepers that have been playing, uh, some elementary mistakes, uh, some uh, things that we expect that they will be improved from a coaching perspective uh, uh, on the uh, goalkeeping side. Um, is, 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 is this a concern to you? I, I, I listened to you last week when you talked about these elementary mistakes, but these would uh, include the defenders, but specifically with goalkeeping. What can you say about the goalkeeping department this season? Uh, thanks, Prave, for the question. I think uh, that's one department that has always been strong, you know, in the team. And unfortunately, this season we find ourselves in the situation where we conceding cheap goals. But it's not only it's not only goalkeepers, you know, uh, our defense as well. And uh, I'm I'm glad that you also mentioned sort of like stats. You know, we are one team that is uh, always on the forefront, and. Uh, our keepers, uh, they don't usually, you know, hectic, uh, you know, be easy at the back there because of uh, we don't allow teams, you know, to penetrate us, you know, easily. But unfortunately, whenever we make a mistake, we, we get punished, you know, and we make uh, costly mistakes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and, and maybe some of us, you know, here in this room will attest to that. Um, uh, 80% if not 90% of the goals that we considered this season we scored for the open for the oppositions we gave them a manner from heaven uh, they did not work hard and whenever we apply ourselves correctly we make life difficult and that is why even our goalkeepers at some point you know they become too relaxed because uh, the oppositions are not you know challenging them that much but unfortunately whenever we make a mistake uh, then we get punished and I can I can I can name teams where we gave points away, where we scored for them from deflection. You know, the ball will fall on their path, and then they will score. Not that the defense was was disorganized. We organized, you know. But on the day you are just unfortunate, and then you can see. And then before maybe that happened, you look at the game as well. How many chances you you must have missed? I'm talking about games that sometimes you need luck, and people they don't understand when I say luck. Uh, uh, I've, I've, I've seen teams that uh, the keeper saved, you know, them where they should have lost, maybe 2-1, they score one, they score one, then they win one nil. But when you look at the oppositions, the chances that they created, clear, clear cut chances, unfortunately on the day for the oppositions, but for the, for the team that uh, wins the game on the day, the keeper kept them, kept them in the game, you know, and it, it comes with, with luck as well. It comes with luck. You, you need that. You work hard. Obviously, when you work hard, you create your own luck. You know. So, uh, on our side, we, we've been unfortunate when it comes to that. You know, we look at the goal we considered last from awkward angle. You know, I was actually shocked when I saw the ball. You know, in the net, I thought the ball was maybe it hit the side net or you know so but those are things uh, and uh, that are happening in the game and it's, it's the reality it's a fact and uh, it poses a challenge to us and uh, as i said we can only blame the defenders or blame the goalkeepers the entire team and me as well as the head coach i'm responsible uh, to make sure that we change things uh, for the better but uh, our forwards uh, we start defending with them. You know, they have to make sure that when we lose the ball, we regroup or we counter press. We don't allow the opposition to penetrate us, you know, through the middle. But when you look at the previous game that we played, or many other teams that we played recently, they don't want to build up. They just move the ball, you know, between the keeper and the and then then the center for um, I mean uh, center back, and then they launch it forward. They play from the second balls. You know, because they know they are forced now to play. If if they try to play, they're gonna have to to move with the ball, and they also create space for us to punish them. So they try and make sure that they have bodies that can cover that space whenever we regain position, because we've got players that can easily hit them or get to the final that entry. We know very very quick. Okay, due to time, I'll only allow one more, and that's Mr. Amar. Yeah, coach, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Uh, you only a few games away from lifting this trophy, exactly. and at the same time, I know you're chasing to finish uh, on the number two spot. 
which one is more important for you? Thank you. Thanks, Mshonisha Ramara. So I see pick up, I see I Look, uh, my leader, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't choose games. No, case achieves, um, you play to win every game. So uh, as, much, as much as we, we want to finish uh, uh, on the position, uh, position uh, two, we still want to win the cup as well, and that has been uh, the culture of the club. Uh, you know, the history of the club has always, always been about winning things. Uh, Silverware is more especially for our supporters and the club. We know, so uh, we take every game, you know, uh, very, very serious. So we are not going to to select games or to say no we need this one is much better as actually this one is more important than the other uh, all the games uh, the only thing that you can do is to juggle the squad around if if needs be but uh, uh, the focus is to is to make sure that we finish as high as, uh, as possible and uh, uh, and also make sure that we go all the way to the final and and, and win it we want to win it we want, want to win everything actually.